I see people, you know, they fight for animal rights. There are animals that are extinct. There are groups, advocacy groups, that fight for animals that are going extinct, but not Muslims. Muslims remain quiet. While our Quran, our Hadith, our Ahl Bayt, they fought for animal rights. Look at the Quran. وَمَا مِن دَابَّةٍ فِي الْأَرْضِ There's not an animal on earth. وَلَا طَائِرٌ يَطِيرُ بِجَنَاحِي And not a single bird that flies with its two wings. إِلَّا أُمَمٌ أَمْثَالِكُمْ They are nations just like you. Just like we humans, we are nations, we are animals. They are nations. مَا فَرَّطْنَا فِي الْكِتَابِ مِنْ شَيْءٍ ثُمَّ إِلَىٰ رَبِّهِمْ يُحْشَرُونَ Animals will be resurrected on the Day of Judgment. To do what? An animal will come and will say, My Lord, this individual hurt me. This individual abused me. This individual did not give me my rights. This individual did not feed me. You know, there was a scholar who passed away in his youth. Sayyid Muhammad Rabbah Shirazi, rahmatullah alayhi. Maybe some of you know him. Maybe some of you even met him. I don't know. They say that in his house, he lived in Qom, they had a problem of ants. There was a lot of ants. His family wanted to bring, you know, what do you call it? Raid or whatever, to destroy the ants. He said, no, no. Just like we live in this house, ants live in this house. They also live with us in the house. He refused to hurt ants. This, this is the teachings of Islam. That we don't even hurt animals. I see on Twitter sometimes pictures of these crazy people. They go and hunt giraffes and they take pictures and they smile. Have you seen that on social media? They take a picture with a huge giraffe, a beautiful animal. Why would you kill that animal? And they take a picture, a selfie with a giraffe, a dead giraffe. Or with a tiger, they're carrying a tiger, a dead tiger. If you're brave, you kill that tiger when it's alive, not when it's dead. And they take a selfie for people to like and retweet. You kill an animal for a couple of likes and, and retweets? What will you answer God on the, on the Day of Judgment? Islam's fra Islam frowns upon, frowns upon this. Fuqaha tell us that if you had water enough only to drink or for wudu, what should you do? Perform wudu and go thirsty or drink the water and perform tayammum? All scholars say perform tayammum. You don't need to perform wudu. Drink water. Some say no, not just you. Your animal. If you have a horse, your water is enough only for your horse to drink or you perform wudu. Which one is more important? Scholars say feed your animal and you go do tayammum. Don't do wudu. Save your animal. Let your animal drink water. You go and do wudu. You go and do tayammum. Because ta wudu has a replacement. There's tayammum. But an animal cannot be replaced. This is a, a life that you'll be taken away. Rasulullah would tell us the rights of animals. I mentioned this a couple of nights ago when we, talk, when we talked about superstition. Animals have rights. One, you feed it whenever you stop. Two, you give it water. Whenever you see water. Assalamu alaikum ya Aba Abdullah. Islam teaches us to feed animals, let alone human beings. Islam teaches us to quench the thirst of animals, let alone human beings. Don't sit on its face, don't hit it on its face. Don't stand on its back. Don't put weight on it more than it can handle. And don't let it walk more than it could handle. These are Islamic traditions. These are animal rights in Islam. Another hadith by Rasulullah that says, Do not harm animals. Allah will punish those that harm animals. And we should forgive disobedient animals. If you have a disobedient pet, a disobedient animal, forgive them. Forgive that animal. And there's a reward, subhanAllah. There's a reward for those that forgive a disobedient pet and a disobedient animal. Where do you find this other than in Islam? <laughs> Rasulullah forbade animal fights here in the West. 
right? The world's leading civilization. You find cockfights, bullfights, all kinds of fights. They bet on animals fighting, animals killing each other. Islam came and said, no, this is haram. There's no such thing as bullfights or cockfights or animal fights. Just so that you sit and you enjoy animals fighting? No. This is haram. There's no animal fights in Islam. There's no bidding on animal fights. This is wrong. This is immoral. Rasulullah says that on the day of judgment, a small bird, if you killed a small bird for fun, for leisure, for entertainment, not because you wanted to eat it, that small bird will come on the day of judgment and will complain to Allah Azza wa Jal that this person killed me just for the sake of fun. He wanted to have a good time. A small bird will complain on the day of judgment.